What up guys, thanks for watching the vlog. Shout out to the West Georgia Wolves, we out here anyways. Um, yeah, let's get straight to it. I wanna read a couple Bible verses for y'all. As always, the vlog gotta start with a Bible verse. But today, I'm gonna be reading the Bible verse because there's an important topic that I want to talk to you guys about. Girls and guys, you know, both struggle with this. But uh, for this particular video, it's for the guys. But the girls can also like, relate to this you know what i'm saying because we're all human whether you're a girl or a guy you're all, you're a human and we all struggle with the same stuff galatians chapter 5 um let's start with 16. let's go this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh key word in that lust for the flesh lusteth lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary to the one these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would but if you be led by the spirit you are not under law now the works of flesh pay attention this is verse number 19 galatians 5 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery that's the first one that he listed in the bible adultery Fornication. Fornication is sex before marriage. Adultery is sleeping with someone's wife that's not yours. Um, uncleanness. Leviciousness. That's like just being out here, just being, being like levicious. <laughs> Idolatry. Witchcraft. Hatred. Variance. Emulations. Wrath. Strife. Seditions. Heresies. Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of which, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, why do I say all of this? All these things um, in Galatians chapter 5, in these verses, our generation, the world, everybody tends to do all the time. They, we, we practice a lot of these things, right? And that's not good because the Bible clearly says we will not inherit the kingdom of God if we do these things. So you definitely don't want to be practicing these things. You should probably print these verses out, put them up on your wall, and try every single day not to do these things like because we want to inherit the kingdom of God we don't want to you know be out here struggling but the main thing I want to talk about that's specific to today's vlog is lust and now lust is something that is extremely hard to battle and we cannot cannot uh, this is personally like this is personal I've felt this before we cannot battle this thing on our own so don't even think that you can okay Lust isn't like one of those things that you can just like figure out how to fix, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like I'm just gonna stop lusting. Like it's not like that. Like lust is a whole spirit out here, you know what I'm saying? And we need God, we need the Holy Spirit, we need the blood of Jesus, we need all of that to protect us from lust. We can't do it, but you have to want to not do it if that makes sense like we we need to have that that fire inside of us that says i don't want to do this like i don't want to fornicate i don't want to look at her like that i don't want to do this i want to get what god has for me the best that god has for me once you get that in your mind you you can move for it you know what i'm saying you could pray differently you could say things differently you gotta pray you gotta speak to god god knows god knows us you know what i'm saying you know we're not jesus we can't do exactly how Jesus did, but he led an example for us, and we're supposed to be Christ-like. So it's like, we can't do it, but we can try. And Jesus did do it, so we can lean on him. We got the Holy Spirit, we got God the Father, we got the Bible, we got uh, prayer lines, we got prayer groups, we got church, we got everything. We got all this stuff for us. Just fill your mind with things that are good, you know what I'm saying? Of course there's gonna be stuff out there that's extremely like 
evil and extremely all in your face like it's all on tv it's all on the Insta instagram nets it's all on the internet it's all on social media it's everywhere but we got to guard our gates we got to protect our eyes we got to protect our minds we got to protect our ears and what we listen to we got to protect what we say we got to do all that and not just so we can be like oh yeah i'm a good person or i'm a christian but because if we do these things it says that we will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's a big deal. If you believe in Jesus, if you believe in God, if you believe in heaven, and you believe that that's where you go when you die, that means you also believe in hell, which means if you believe in hell, that's not where you wanna go. It's not a game. I don't understand why people think that it's a game and why people play around so much. Because when we all die and we go either one or the other, that's where you live at for the rest of your life. And it's like, you don't want to go opposite of heaven. You want to go to heaven, right? If you if that's what you believe in, that's what I believe in. I want to go to heaven. And so I'm not acting like it's easy, though. It's definitely not easy. But it is possible. And it is possible through Christ to protect yourself from lust. Continuing on in 22. But... The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. If And then on 25 it says, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. You gotta live by the Spirit. So, it gives us what to not live by and what to live by. Let's strive to live by the things that it tells us to live by. But I really said all that to say the the model in today's video is blurred out and the reason she's blurred out is because i didn't realize until after the vlog and everything was shot that some people might look at her and this is a christian youtube channel some people might look at her and be tempted to lust after her and we don't want that we don't want that not on this vlog channel blurred her out one for you guys all my, my, my fellow fellas that are watching my vlogs. And two, because I need to practice. I need to practice my video editing skills. And this was a good chance to like blur somebody out in the video. So yeah. All right. You got your little Bible lesson for today. You should read the Bible yourself. Galatians chapter 5. There's a link in the bio below. Um, I might try to find something that deals with how to overcome like lust and everything like that and put that in the link below in the description below I mean and uh, yeah enjoy the vlog Garrett and Ashley here. Well, right now it's just Ashley. There's Garrett over there working hard. Just realized that I never did an intro for this video. So, please excuse the appearance. I know I'm not looking my best self right now. I got up early to do this work. <clears throat> so right now Garrett is doing a video shoot for a hairline. I guess we'll say a hair company. And so far it's going good. We are at Pont City Market. Here's some scenery. Hot City Market behind me, and this is actually our first time here. The Hayes of the Vlog, but it's too busy. so yeah, um, it's really cute out here. It's really nice. I think the scenery is perfect for what Garrett's trying to shoot, and I think it's gonna come out pretty good. Um, I have some footage in there. I'm the one that's vlogging today, by the way, because he's too busy doing this. So yeah. Shoot is over. Thank you. 
Ashley was a good assistant. Oh, door still open. But yeah. Shoot went well, I guess. Video shoots are different than photo shoots. Video shoots are like, did I get enough footage? Did I shoot enough? Is this going to be enough? Do I like the shots? Video shoots are a lot more than photo shoots, in my opinion. But it's over. It was from 11 to 2. So that was a pretty, pretty long shoot. Mm -hmm. Ashley is hungry and she's hot because Georgia decided it wanted to be hot today. But we dressed like it was cold. And it, it wasn't really that cold this morning. It was it was kind of cold this morning. We were dressed appropriately for the morning. We weren't dressed appropriately for being out here for this long. Yeah, and this was our first time coming to Ponce, like Ashley said. And um, it was ex it got extremely packed when we first got there. It was all peaceful, like wow, this is nice. And then around like twelve, it was like people just started filling in, and there's all kinds of people. Like I don't know, I kind of feel like people judge a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it might have just been who we were with, but like people, you could kind of look at people and say like, they're looking down on you, kind of mm -hmm. sort of. I don't know. We did what we had to do, and we'll actually and I come back maybe, but not when it's busy like that. So maybe on like a. On a weeknight. Yeah, it's probably still packed on weeknights. But now we're getting ready to head home. And from there, Ashley is gonna start, she gotta go grocery shopping so she can get her uh, food for tomorrow's event. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I might just enjoy tomorrow. But uh, tomorrow we're having the dinner with her mom, my mom, my sister, her sister, my dad, her dad. And um, got a lot to do. We still gotta, I still gotta put that cubby together. But I'm about to go get my hair cut though. Cause I only gotta get that headboard. I gotta get a headboard. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, y'all be easy. Um, I will see you guys next time.